What's going on everybody? Jim Min here. Man, I've been on YouTube coming up on five years next month. And if there's one thing that I learned, it's that if you see the same question over and over in the comments, it's probably a good idea to make a video about it. Now forgive me for the audio here, I am in my closet and today we're gonna talk about where I get all of these all over print t-shirts that you guys have been seeing. Now these are bootleg streetwear tees, they're not licensed and they're meant to pay homage to the original all over prints from back in the 90s. So there are some thrift purists who don't really like these types of shirts, but man, those old school dead stock tees go for like thousands of dollars. So I'm cool with getting these all over prints and I'm gonna show you what I got in my collection and where I picked them up from. And yes, I did ask permission from everybody, man, I'm learning. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I didn't blow up anybody's spot. So let's start with uh, some of the teeth. All right, so I just got this one in. This is from Beyond Rush, which is a collaboration between Vintage Rush and Beyond Cured. Dope, all over print Doctor Strange, and you got good side and bad side here. And then they have the same shirt, but bad side on front, good side on the back. There's our single stitch, which is an old school method of making tees. So if you look at like the stitching right here, it's one stitch instead of the double stitch, which is what you see with modern clothing. So they have that Doctor Strange one, and they also did this one. This is the Wish You Were Here, which is the Jim Lee 1990s X-Men swimsuit edition, and it has different images on the front and back. Now, they made two versions of this one as well. One of them was a true black, and really it's like this super thick kind of sweater. Can I get the uh, focus here? Super thick, super heavy shirt, but really love the image here. So this is Beyond Rush. Then we got some tees here. This is from LA Single Stitch. So love this one, this Hobgoblin Spider-Man art. And this one has a different image on the back here. Super dope. They also did this Colossus one. And again, this one has a different image on the back. So again, this is from LA Single Stitch on Instagram. They also did this one, man, the Marvel Age with the Todd McFarlane artwork. And then you have the image on the back here. Then we gotta move on to my boy, the Daily Boogle, who made the ASM 316, but on the front it's ASM 300. One of my favorite shirts, he calls it the shirt. I wore this on the Whatnot ad and got a lot of eyes on it. He did this Secret War shirt, which I feel is like criminally underrated, man. The amazing Doctor Doom image on the front, the Secret Wars 8 Spider-Man on the back. I like this one too because it's printed on a red shirt and then, you know, adds another color. So you can only do a certain amount of colors on these types of shirts. So I like that innovation of doing it on red. That gets rid of having to do that color. He also did this one, the Kelly Jones Batman. And what you don't really get to see is this awesome Two-Face artwork on the back. So the Daily Boot Goal on Instagram. He also did this one. This is the first print with the Lethal Protector front. And then you have the Bagley Venom and Spider-Man art on the back. He will do like second prints where the webs will be a different color. I believe he did one with like a baby blue. And uh, for the other t-shirt, he did one with like pink stripes instead of the red. Now this one is from someone on Instagram called Chronic Images. And I think what's different with him is he does a lot of his own artwork. So he did this Moon Knight tee. Got the Moon Knight on the back. I feel like I recently pre-ordered something else from them, but I can't remember what it was. And then we're gonna go to my boy, 19th Letter. So 19th Letter did this shirt. They also did this X-Men shirt with, his, uh, with Wolverine, Bishop, and Cable on a yellow print. Same image on the front and back. This is what I wore to San Diego Comic-Con, the Gambit and Rogue cover on the red tee. A lot of these shirts feel very heavy. It's a very heavy paint on them, but after you wash them, you end up getting a, a nice good wear on it. 19th Letters on Instagram, also 19thletter.com. Got this amazing Magneto shirt. I wore this one in like a few videos, you've probably seen them. Got another X-Men shirt from 19th Letter. Got Wolverine on it, Gambit, Strong Guy, Cable. Got the yellow lightning going on, Psylocke on here. And they also did this one, Jay Lee from the X Factor cover he did. This one is Apocalypse and Archangel on the front with Strife on the back. This is kind of what sold it for me because you don't see Strife on t-shirts like that. 
And what's super dope about 19th Letter is he experiments with other types of clothing. He does pants, he did these awesome jackets, and what sold me on this windbreaker is the Mark Bagley artwork on the back, man. Carnage, Venom, and Spider-Man. But, this one I think is my favorite out of all the jackets, man. The X-Men one, Jim Lee art. You got the art on the front and on the back here. I can't find my other Spawn shirt. That was also from LA Single Stitch, if you see the one that has the Spider-Man one homage. Anyway, I figured I'd make this video, show off some of the tees, let you guys know where I got them from. They are premium tees, so they are a little bit more on the expensive side. Typically they run about 75 bucks, but they are limited tees. And if they do release them or re-release them, they'll do another color, second printing, third printing type of thing. So shout out to all these dudes doing these bootleg tees. I wish we can get licensed and just be in the stores, but this is what we gotta do when the uh, IP holders don't make what we want. So shout out to the bootleggers, shout out to the streetwear people. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace. This video is brought to you by Ninja Funk. Help save the universe from bad music by picking up a copy from your local comic shop on November 2nd. Check out these amazing variant covers as well. We have two from Tyler Kirkham, one of them being a 1 out of 25 ratio. Tony Fleece with the Stray Dogs 1 out of 10, Kevin Eastman with a 1 out of 100, and Boss Logic with a 1 out of 250. Big shout out to JPG from that Spider-Man booth, Street Level Hero, and now Ninja Funk.